I was an architect before we start traveling and uh, I made a design for the van. So everything was drawn uh, in 3D. I drew everything like on the millimeter. And then um, we had it um, all CNC cut by a company. So I made these uh, nests, CNC cut nests, and um, they cut everything out of uh, plywood. And uh, we glued it all together and we screwed it off from the inside. So as you can see, there's no screw uh, visible from the outside. Uh, that was all uh, yeah, thought of, let's say. Um, and while we were traveling, a lot of people gave us positive feedback about all this stuff. And we figured, oh, we can maybe start a company um, by providing these CNC cut uh, do-it-yourself kits so people can convert vans for themselves. So um, uh, last year, we spent like half a year uh, making all these manuals and perfectioning um, the, the, yeah, the furniture. So this is kind of the mock-up. So the new model is a bit uh, better, let's say, also in the way of how you put it together. So for instance, the drawer, um, we put the slider ourselves. It took us a full day to make everything straight and right. And as you can see, it's still a bit wobbly. Um, now we have very nice 3D uh, models of the drawer. Let's have the slider and we uh, already CNC cut all the holes for all that stuff. So the benefit of that is that a client just puts in the slider, they click it in and uh, on the outside, the three millimeter margin, it, it's perfect. So people don't even know anymore that that, that, that is, that is uh, a problem to, to make it nice. So anyway, we started the company last year. Um, we solved all those kind of things. And uh, since then, we now sold uh, 23 of these packages. So some of them are still building, some are already traveling with it. So uh, yeah, slowly uh, you'll see a lot more of these kind of vans where people still do the work themselves. Although we provide them this huge package with more than 450 pieces of wood, everything has a special coat. Uh, for instance, for the ceiling, C1, C2, uh, the sofa, is uh, the bed is the B, B1, B2, and then they glue it all together. And it takes overall about a month and then to convert the whole van. Um, and it's quite nice to now see people that have no experience at all uh, with woodworking, that they they can kind of build this whole thing uh, with even touching a saw because everything is CNC drilled. You can you just glue it together, you put it together. And um, we did not have a 3D model of the van when we did it. So we had to cut a lot of things to make it fit nicely. Since then, I have all the 3D models uh, of all the vans. So I know exactly where all the holes are. So we made all the holes align with the holes in the van. So you don't need to drill any holes. You put a special plug in it, a steel uh, nut, and with that, with a uh, with a bolt, you you we, yeah you can uh, fix everything together. It's evolved into something that you can easily put in, but if you want to take everything out of the van again, so the benefit of that is if you ever want to use the van for for uh, for moving, like you, you're moving to a new house and you want to use the van for cargo, you can just very easily you you unplug the you, you put a little, you know, we put a little plug between the light, you unplug it, you, you have six bolts, do, do, do. here it slides in the side, you slide it back and you put it somewhere in storage and you have an empty van again. And that's the whole idea behind, um, yeah, behind making it uh, easy to build, easy to install, but also easy to take it out. So if you ever have an accident with the van or the engine is total loss, um, yeah, in theory, you buy a new van. And you need to buy new insulin because it's, you know, it was, it was thick. You can't, can't get it out. But maybe with a little investment, you can just put the whole ins inside again in another van. And uh, now it can be like uh, both for Sprinter or for other vans as well. So yeah, Sprinter and um, Volkswagen Crafter until 2018, it was made by Mercedes. So they're the same vans. And it's L2. L2 H2. Yeah. So that's this package. But since we started last year, there were a lot of people that were very interested in a fixed path. Although we really like this setup. Uh, I understand uh, people want more storage. So under the bed, you can take two bikes, uh, surfing gear, that kind of thing. So uh, we made a whole design now with a fixed bed in the back. 
um, which can slide in like this. So from the back, you can create a 60 centimeter width for a shower. So it's, it, it, it's more flexible, let's say, for storage. Um, and then in the front, you have a seat here, uh, the same kitchen. Uh, only on one side there's a closet and then that closet is not there and then there's uh, a swivel chair yeah with um with a table like this lagoon table which you can move behind the the seat and there's a table from here so you really have like four seats in the front it's a bit more focused on that but still with a way to make a curtain so if you're only with the two or the three of you you can still live in the back and um uh, it's also becoming a very popular model now. We, we, we sold three of them now, uh, but they still need to be built. So I can't show it yet, um, but it's also very exciting. If people are interested in just having a look how we did it, just as uh, we, we, um, you can check on our website. It's um, www.defantast. It's, it's basically this, uh, .nl or .com, doesn't matter. It will direct you to NL. Um, and then there's some information about us. It's mostly in uh, Dutch, but um, there's an English page as well, which kind of introduces everything. Uh, and you can have a look uh, on products and just click on the movies and all the individual furniture. And we show all these little 3D drawings, how things work. Uh, and um, yeah, that's... Uh, and on Instagram, you can follow us where we kind of post um, whatever new things we're doing. But on Instagram is for us more a uh, community. So everybody that's building the van, we follow on Instagram and we're pushing. Uh, so people that are building it, um, some people are building spontaneously together and then they give each other tips and advice. And so that's kind of nice, a nice way of building a community. Um, and we have everything in wood because yeah, we, we designed it, we made it and we figured uh, let's put color in the ceiling and in the, in the, in the sofa in the fabric uh, but what is funny now is that clients are putting color on the back walls or they paint these kind of things and it be the, the whole atmosphere becomes really different do you ship in europe or at the moment just in the netherlands uh, on the moment in the netherlands because uh all the manuals are in dutch um but we do have uh some clients interested from germany so um we, we do want to now, for this package, we, uh, we plan in the short uh, term, we plan to translate everything in English. And um, within Europe, it's doable to, to, trans uh, to, to transport it. But the best way, uh, people around the Netherlands, the best way is they would come here, pick up the package, and we would make, uh, I have a special machine to put in all the uh, rivet nuts. So then everything is prepared. So whenever they build it, then everything fits perfectly. So that's the easiest way. Another way is that we will give the rivet nuts, but they have to do it themselves. Um, but yeah, that's, it's also a possibility. Thanks for watching. All the links I will leave in the description below. And see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.